Thanks. Thank you. Sticker shock is not limited to Obamacare. Some Medicare patients are now getting bills much larger than they expected because of a loophole that favors the government. Chief National Correspondent Jim Angle tells us about that tonight. Ruth Felton is a real fireball, even in her 90s. How long have you been coming? Probably several years. Several years. Didn't you feel it really helps you? I hope. When she was 95, she fell late one night and was taken to the emergency room in an ambulance where doctors found she'd broken her pelvis in three places. They said that she would have to go to rehab. Um, and learn to walk again and to learn to function again. But her daughter was told that would mean a skilled nursing facility, which is expensive. She did indeed stay three full nights, and we were told that that was the criteria for having Medicare pay for the rehab. There's a nasty catch, however. Many people in the hospital are not officially considered inpatients, but rather under observation. Once they're in the hospital and in a bed for several days, getting care and treatment and medicine and food, wristband, they think they're inpatients. People have no idea that they're outpatients. Ruth's daughters learned 10 minutes before her discharge that she was only under observation, meaning Medicare would pay nothing for nursing care and rehab, leaving them to pay a $17,000 bill. Many others paid tens of thousands more. The inspector general calculated that there were 600,000 cases across the country just last year alone. And Obamacare itself contributes to the problem. Hospitals argue they're caught in the middle with the government challenging medical decisions and imposing fines under Obamacare if they admit too many inpatients and they return. Hospitals are penalized for excessive readmissions and that is for any patient that's admitted. That might be one of the reasons why physicians are more cautious admitting patients to the hospital. The government also hires contractors, what some call bounty hunters, to go out and challenge Medicare claims as far back as three years, giving them nine to twelve and a half percent of any claim denied, creating a financial incentive for second guessing. These claims are held up in the appeal process for about two and a half years. There's over 1.5 billion dollars that's tied up right now while hospitals are appealing these denials. But the hospitals win 70 percent of their appeals. One doctor who studies physician practices in hospitals blames the government. You get hospitals basically overshooting and keeping more patients on observation status because they know if they make, make the wrong decision and admit a patient that could have been put on observation status, they're going to face a penalty. Now, Congressman Courtney has 136 co-sponsors from both parties for a bill saying any three-day stay is entitled to Medicare payment for skilled nursing care. Meanwhile, Sherry Breyer has been fighting the Medicare bureaucracy for months and calls the whole situation a travesty. Chris? We'll stay on top of it, Jim. Thank you.